very good morning dear students today we are going to discuss a very famous poem written by alfred lord tennyson the title of the poem is ulysses ulysses is a, a roman name for odysseus odysseus was a hero in a great epic written by homer in greek language Odysseus was a hero uh, just like our uh, heroes epic heroes like uh, Arjuna and others various in this poem alfred lord tennyson doesn't tell anything about heroic activities of ulysses instead he tells us uh, after returning a uh, 18 years of uh, warship to his home country homeland itaka the poem starts uh, after uh, ulysses returns to his homeland and starts to live like a king he spends 3 th years in itaka and he felt his life very boring and he starts to uh reflect his life three years of his life in itaka uh, before telling the story or before going to the explanation of the poem ulysses i just want to read out the poem let us read the poem ulysses the poem is written by very famous english poet alfred lord tennyson it little profits that an idol king by this still hurt among these barren cracks matched with an aged wife i meet and dole unequal loss unto a savage race that hold and sleep and feed and know not me i cannot rest from travel i will drink life to the least dear students please note this sentence i will drink life to the least a very famous sentence from the poem you may come across the sentence for annotation in examination please note down i will drink life to the least all times i have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly both with those that loved me and alone and sure and when through scudding drifts the rainy heads with the dim sea i am become a name for always roaming with a hungry heart much have i seen and known cities of men and manners climates councils governments myself not least but honored of them all and drunk delight of battle with my peers for under ringing plains of windy troy i am a part of all that i have met it all experience is an arch where through gleams that untraveled world whose margin fades forever and forever when i move how dull it is to pause to make an end to rest unburnished not to shine in use as though to breath were life life piled on life were all too little and of one to me little remains but every hour is saved from that eternal silence something more a bringer of new things and while it were for some three suns to store and hold myself and this gray spirit yearning in desire to follow knowledge like a sinking star beyond the utmost bound of human thought this is my son mine own telemachus to whom i leave the scepter and isle well loved of me discerning to fulfill thus labor by slow prudence to make mild a rugged people and through soft degrees subdue them to the useful and the good most blameless is he centered in the sphere of common duties decent not to fail in offices of tenderness and pay 
meet adoration to my household gods when i am gone he works his work i mine there lies the port the vessel puffs her sail there gloom the dark broad seas my mariners souls that have toiled and wrought and thought with me that ever with a frolic welcome took the thunder and the sunshine and opposed free hearts free foreheads you and i are old old age hath ate his honor and his toil death closes all but something ere the end some work of noble note may it be done not unbecoming men that's true with gods the light begin to twinkle from the rocks the long day wanes and slow moon climbs the deep moons round with many voices come my friends it's not too late to seek a newer world push up push off and sitting well in order's might the sounding furrows for my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset and the baths of all the western stars until i die it may be that the gulls will wash us down it may be we shall touch the happy isles and see the great achilles whom we knew though much is taken much abides and though we are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven that which we are we are one equal temper of heroic hearts made weak by time and face but strong in will to strive to seek to find and not to yield let us go to the line by line explanation of the poem i will come back to no it will be better to give an introduction of the poem uh, the poem as i said earlier ulysses is written by famous english poet alfred lord tennyson uh the type of the poem a uh, genre of the poem is dramatic monologue i will tell you something about dramatic monologue dramatic monologue is a genre in this type of poems the speaker of the poem or the narrator of the poem speaks out his mind out he speaks his inner dreams inner desires his likes dislikes in the poem the person who speaks in the poem is the central character of the poem or the person whom we are going to learn about monologue mono one log speaking only one person speaks in the poem uh, the poem is written in blank verse there is no any rhyme scheme a uh, particular rhyme scheme or uh, as we find in sonnets uh, ambit pentameter and all it's a very blank verse there is no any particular systematic rhyme scheme in the poem Uh, in 1833 the poet alfred lord tennyson has lost his best friend arthur hallam and many and many critics tell us that arthur uh, the ulysses is uh, the poem ulysses is written as a elegy uh, in the memory of arthur hallam many agree with that uh, the picturization of ulysses in the poem is based on the friend arthur hallam the poet has chosen the character ulysses from greek mythology as i said earlier uh, in greek ulysses is named as odysseus uh, Ulysses is the Roman name for Odysseus. Uh, the kingdom of Ulysses is Ithaca. Ulysses, a legendary king of Ithaca, uh, the poem tells the satisfaction, discontentment of Ulysses uh, as living as a king of Ithaca. 
After his travels and explorations for 18 years, he comes back to his homeland, kingdom, Ithaca, and starts to live a uh, life as a king of Ithaca. But he finds it's very uh, less interest. He, he doesn't find any interest in living like a king. So he finds himself very idle without doing anything and he is very restless. He wants to do something. He aims for uh, continue his explorations. He wants to uh, continue his adventurous sails. The poem tells about his discontentment of present life as a king. Ulysses longs, longs, desires for desires to continue his travel and exploration again. Thus the uh, gist of the poem is that at the age, at the a old age, Ulysses, uh, after spending long 18 years in war, battle, exploration, adventures, he doesn't want to sit back and rest. He just want to continue and he just want to continue his adventurous life again. Thus the uh, beauty of the poem that uh, an old man wants to continue. An old man wants to uh, explore world as much as possible before he die. In the poem we can understand that he knew. Ulysses knows that he is going to die. Uh, that is very near to him because he is becoming old. His uh, physical body is... Uh, uh, losing its youthful strength. But at that time, he wants to explore. He wants to know more about the world. He wants to uh, uh, look at the new places. He wants to explore new world. That's the beauty of the poem. We have to understand. We have to uh, look at the poem from that point of view that uh, exploration or uh, adventure wouldn't stop by age, uh, aging or uh, some other threatens wouldn't stop. It's will. It's our mind which wants something more. Uh, our mind which wants to look at some other pers uh, aspects of the life. Let us uh, look at the line by line explanation of the poem. It little profits that an idle king, idle, sumne kutiron tadu, enu kelsa marderon tadu, little profits. Uh, the person like Ulysses doesn't want to sit back, doesn't want to be idle. Enu kelsa ilde sumne rajan tarayrodu, Ulysses ge ishtaila, adrinda ulen helti dara. Becoming a king uh, doesn't benefit me. Nanantauni genu benefit aglila, profit eno aglila anta hel taidara. By this still hurt. Hurt now western home galali note tava, chali rodrinda en martere, benki hakir tere, benki en marte, it gives vermouth to us. Anta wando. Uh, fireplace atra kutkona, I doesn't, I don't want to. Ulysses says that I don't want to sit around the fireplace and look at the barren cracks. Itaka, as I said, an island and surrounded by cracks. Cracks, uh, mountains in the la surround agide. Inta uh, betta guttagal na nor kondo, e fireplace atra kutkondo, rajan tarai rodo. It doesn't benefit me. Enu benefit aglilanta. Matched with an aged wife and at the age, at the old age, Ulysses has a, an old woman as his wife and he says, uh, what old wife, I, 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 I did not find any interest in life. In the Rajan Tarerodu, in the fireplace at Tarerodu, Nangenu interest anta anastila. I meet and dole unequal laws unto a savage race. And being a king, he has to do some laws. He has to find out rules and regulations for his subjects, citizens of his kingdom. 
ಅವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ನ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅನ್ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂತ ಯಾಕೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಪನಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದೋಸ್ ಹು ಡಿಡ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ರಿವಾರ್ಡ್ ಇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹು ಡಿಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಅನ್ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ರಾಜನಾಗಿದ್ದು ಕಾನೂನುಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಸವೇಜ್ ರೇಸ್ಗೆ ಹಿ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ನಂತರ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರೋದು ಇಷ್ಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಲಿವ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಐಡಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡಿರೋವಂಥದ್ದು ಇಷ್ಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ದಟ್ ಹೋಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೋ ನಾಟ್ ಮೀ ನಾವು ಇಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಎಂಥ ಜನ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದೇ ಡೂ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಡೂ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಅವ್ರು ಏನು ಮಾಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಅಡ್ವೆಂಚರಸ್ ಝೀಲ್ ಇನ್ ದೆಮ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಯುಲಿಸಿಸ್ಗೆ ಅಡ್ವೆಂಚರಸ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ನ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಸಚ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಝೀಲ್ ಇನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಅವರ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಜೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂಥ ಒಂದು ಝೀಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ದೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಊಟ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಮಲಗ್ತಾರೆ ದೆ ಆರ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ರೀತಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮೋರ್ ಓವರ್ ದಿ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹಿಮ್ ದೆ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ದೆ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಂಥ ರಾಜ ಅವ್ರಿಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆ ರಾಜ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆ ರಾಜನ ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಆ ನನ್ನ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಯಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸಿಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಹಿ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನು ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಟು ದ ಲೀಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಟು ದ ಲೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ವೈನ್ ಬಾಟಲ್ ಲೀಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಸಿಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ರಿಮೈನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈನ್ ಬಾಟಲ್ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ವೈನ್ ಬಾಟಲಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊನೆಯ ಗುಟಕ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ವ ಆ ಕೊನೆಯ ಗುಟಕನ್ ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹು ಲವ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ ದೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಲೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈನ್ ಬಾಟಲ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡ್ರೋಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ಹಿ ಡೈ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ಹಿ ಫೇಸ್ ಡೆತ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಹಿಸ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಹಿಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ all times i have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly look at the way he explains his life experiences he says that he enjoyed life very much at the same time he suffered he faced a lot of challenges he faced a lot of problems in life but he enjoyed both he enjoyed his bad times he enjoyed his struggle and good time too both with those that loved me and alone look at the way he explains his life on sale uh, oba vyakti prayanadalli idhaga enagutte he finds lot of friends to share lot of friends to uh, tell about his experiences at most of the times he wouldn't find anyone just
He doesn't want to rest from travel. Scudding drifts under the beating showers of rain that one might encounter at sea during storm. You can go through the summary. You can go through the uh, meaning of the lines in the PPT. I have put all the sentences, meaning of the sentences here. You just go through slowly and you can find all the meaning of the sentences in the PPT. I become a name. Now Tennyson, sorry, Ulysses tells us he, he became a name. He became a name 